everybody, welcome to the Leafy Podcast. This is your host today. Tammy has uh, laryngitis, so she can't be here. But it's Jennifer Gligerich and Brian Price. Say hi. Howdy, howdy. <laughs> I'm the puppet today, I guess. <laughs> Just pull the strings. <laughs> well, today I was telling Brian that we sh- we had another talk plan. We were going to talk about the basics of accounting, but this new report came out on Yahoo, um, and so we tweeted about it on our Twitter because we're you know we're, we're, we're tweety, and the it talks about a slowdown in U.S. business formation. It's posing a risk to the economy because, of course, small business is the backbone of the economy. And uh, it goes on to talk about despite a decade of decade plus of economic growth, Americans have slowed the pace at which they're forming new companies. And of course, you know, we happen to own a company that does business entity formation. And uh, so we don't want that to happen because. You know, Brian and I are both entrepreneurs. We've owned our own companies. Um, Brian owns more than one company. So do I. Although our main uh, focus right now is uh, Leafy Legal Services. So we know how important it is to get your structure set up and to launch, you know, for every entrepreneur. Um, And it talks about this trend risks widening the gap between the most affluent and everyone else. And of course, that's a big problem with big corporations. You know, they keep wages down so they can keep their own profits up, but that doesn't really go to the rest of us. It's just going to the the CEO. So we were talking about like, how can we motivate more people to just launch, whether you're going to be a real estate investor or launch or a podcaster, you, you want to do your own podcast or you know any other type of small business entity so brian would been telling me this uh his idea on it and i was like save it yeah so what i was thinking of is this is actually an opportunity for those that have been thinking of entering out because the the issue is is because it's down it means there's less people actually taking the jump to do it so there's less competition right now and so that's that's actually good for those that are are willing to to venture out and to take the quote unquote risk, which really isn't a huge amount of risk. I have to say is is you can take calculated uh, quote unquote risks, but they're not really necessarily risks that you have to risk everything and and likely you know end up in bankruptcy. But because of what they call the the Great Recession, <laughs> uh, which I kind of have to laugh about, but. Um, you, you actually have the ability to go out now easier than ever um, and protect yourself better than ever um, and and actually have less competition out there. Um, what was the, the thing? I think it was like 16% of, of people or the workers, uh, you know, to form businesses fell 16%. So that's a, that's a pretty significant number. So just think of it as 16% of the your would-be competition is no longer there. And right. so look at it as an opportunity. And one of the things that um, that Warren Buffett has always talked about is do the opposite of what everybody else is doing. And so seeing that you know people are not forming businesses, you should be doing exact opposite and actually do form businesses and go out there and do that because there's more opportunity than there ever was before. And yeah. so that was kind of my thought when I read this article is that this is actually good uh, for uh, those who really want to get out there and uh, build their own company and be successful. I think so too. I think now is exactly the time to do it. And I think that, you know, a lot of people get scared by the media and, Oh, there's going to be a big recession. There's going to be a this, but then when you, when you actually pause and stop to think about it, even in the great, uh, what's it, the great recession, no, the, the Great, great Depression, Re- it just oh, yeah. escaped me, the Great Depression. Even in the Great Depression, some of the biggest and most successful families in the country, they reinvested during that time. They took what little they had, even though, well, they didn't have little, some of them did, but even though they're, they're, they were losing money, they started reinvesting and creating new things like mad. And I think that it's a good time to, to do that uh, is, you know, you always want to model people who are successful, right? Mm-hmm. You might want to, you might not want to model the crazy that you see from the highest, most successful people because the ones at the very tippity top, they're all just whacked, right? So, but marginally successful people, you know, 
now's the time to do it. Now's the time to sit down and, and get your game plan. And there are so many different types of businesses you can get in right now. I mean, the world has really changed, but it's also opened up opportunity for small business. Yeah. And uh, I think that people get caught up in the whole, the monopolies the, that, um, you know, it, it's that have come from, capitalism trying to switch like it just seems like last couple of decades capitalism is morphing to more socialism so you're getting these more you know like oligarch level of companies like the google twitter facebook or universe you know like these massive ones and you think how can i even compete with that um, but that's not really sustainable what's sustainable is buy local be local or go online and be digital digital marketing is going to is going to be huge people are going to out there yeah a lot of online stuff so even an article talks about how uh construction workers has declined by 15 percent and uh and then even you said there's 54,000 fewer retailers uh that employ less than 20 people so small retailers are now moving all online there's a lot of places like that i even heard that there are small cryptocurrency companies popping up all around too that are starting to employ people. So if you look at what, you know, those certain things are declining, but others are in the digital world are actually increasing at a higher rate. So it's again, looking at the opportunities of, of what's out there and reinventing yourself. Cause a lot of this stuff is um, even Bill Gates says is, um, you know, many of the jobs that, you know, people are going to have five, 10 years down the line haven't even been invented yet. And we're starting to see that, especially with cryptocurrency and a lot of the online stuff that's going on. So um, there's a huge amount of upside that I, I think it's going to come out of this that uh, people probably, you know, it's easier to report on the doom and gloom because it's easier to put a finger on it. But you know, if you look at the, the flip side of it, it also adds a lot of opportunity for folks. So uh, personally, I, I think this is encouraging uh, where we're going as, uh, as an economy and what, uh, uh, what is going to be available to people. So me too. As an entrepreneur, I look at this and I do the same thing that, that Brian does. I poke through all the little holes and I go, there's an opportunity. There's an opportunity. And of course, real, being a real estate investor, well, there's a huge opportunity, especially knowing that construction's down. Well, what if you can provide new construction? What if you can, you can, you can get in and you can partner with your construction manager that you like or partner with that kitchen remodeler that you like? You know, there's all these ways that um, real estate investors and entrepreneurs can capitalize on that. It's just the mindset. But if you're listening to the show, you probably have that mindset. <laughs> so this will be good for all of you guys. Plus we like helping new businesses, not only in structuring the entity, but whenever we do a consult with someone, you know, just to get a regular LLC filed, no matter what state you're in, because we can do all the states. Um, one of the first things that we'll do is there's a huge questionnaire. We go over what you want to accomplish with that. And a lot of times we end up coaching the people. Well, this, have you thought about this? Or, you know, this is a great program. Like, uh, you know, a lot of people don't realize that there are even accounting programs now. Everybody's like QuickBooks, QuickBooks, QuickBooks. But there are other programs you can start it for free that are great. You know, there's a bank accounts that you can use even for business accounts that are free. Now, you're going to lose a lot of functionality. But if free is what you need, then you can have that. And you're not going to have to pay extra fees and you can scale up your business with that. So we're always, you know, working with people and, you know, coaching people, <laughs> even though it's a little off topic for what we're doing. We, we love that. So, yeah. And getting back to structuring is, is structuring has gotten pretty darn inexpensive as well, depending upon what you're doing is if you're just doing an LLC, which is a single company or multiple properties or multiple companies, mm -hmm. um, it's now it's the best time to do it the right way from the beginning. Uh, right. Even if you are pre-revenue, it's always good to structure from the get-go um, because you, you know you want to kind of you you want to look at the future, what it's going to bring, versus thinking, "Oh, I can do it all for free at this moment." Um, there are a number of softwares you can do for free to reduce the cost of the company, but structuring you really don't want to cut corners with. Uh, it's really really important to do that the right way. Uh, just to keep yourself um, protected for any, anything. Because as you become more successful, 
um, you know, more people are going to be looking at you for potential lawsuits or um, other other types of, of things they can get you. So, uh, but you know, we're always here to help you if you guys need anything. Uh, you know, please you know schedule a consult with us, and we're happy to uh, to answer any questions you have. There's no obligation; it's completely free, and uh, we'd love to discuss whatever you have that uh, uh, you're looking into. Yeah. I mean, I'm a certified coach, so I love talking to people. If you're wanting to start a business and you're wanting to do it and you're going to want to hack it a little bit and to strap it up, let me know. There Now, coming from the background that I do, and of course, you know, what I'm doing right now, there are certain things I'm just going to tell you, you don't want to bootstrap, right? Because it will come to bite you in the butt later on. Getting a, a solid foundation on the boring paperwork part that nobody likes to talk about really is pretty important. And uh, you see it time and again with bigger companies and they've glossed over it. It's not that you probably won't be successful. It's just at the end, do you really want to get those, you know, that 2 million lawsuit? What if you never had to have that just from, you know, doing something a little bit extra in the beginning? You know, it doesn't mean that you're going to be less successful. It just means that you're preventing a lot of stuff from happening in the future. So yeah. Absolutely. there's that. So other things that I thought were interesting um, all that is how cautious that smaller companies and startups were, were about emerging from or worried about the, the recession and choosing not to hire people. Um, I want to just say if you're in that thing and you're worried about, oh, well, I can't because you never know what's going to happen. Successful people don't do that. And don't do that. Don't shoot yourself in the foot with that. There's there's one mode of thought to be, you know, smart. You know, you want to be fiscally um, cautious, you know, on certain things. But on other things, when you're shooting yourself with profits, like, don't do that. People are an incredible resource for you. So you don't want to skimp on the one thing that's going to bring you more money. So like a one really great hire can change a whole company around. And I've seen that happen time and time and again, especially with small businesses. So like if you're out there and that, that talks to you, I'm just going to like shake you and go, don't, don't do that. Don't think that way. <laughs> that's not a successful way to think. Go and go and be bold because um, it's going to, it's going to help you in the end. Not only is it good, for the economy and it's good for the person that you hire, but it's actually going to be pretty good for you. Yeah. I like, I like the saying, if you wanted something done right, don't do it yourself. <laughs> and I'll say it again, don't do it yourself is, is uh, the issue is, is you, you need help. You need resources, you need people that a lot of times people think that, Oh, I have to do it all, all myself and I have to load it up. And that's the only way I can really get this done and bootstrapping, but you actually hinder your own growth in your own company. And so it's really important to have the help. And nowadays with, you know, how things are run virtually, um, you can hire anybody around the world um, and at, at a part-time uh, time as well. So you don't have to necessarily hire them full-time. Uh, you can hire someone part-time to help you get things moving forward that, that may, make, uh, may be hard for you, but it's easy for them and they know how to do it. So that's just going to scale your business even quicker. Um, and though some people have a little bit of heartburn about, you know, coming out of pocket with paying for people, but um, I tell you, it, it's, it's made the biggest difference with us at Le Leafy Legal Services to be able to expand our business at a much higher level uh, from, from hiring people. And and going out there and doing that. So uh, from personal experience, I, I can definitely attest to hiring people so that you can really expand your business quicker and easier so that you can actually enjoy the, the process as well. Sometimes we get so mired into it and you can't sleep at night because you got, you know, 20 different things you're doing in, in so many different uh, areas that uh, you just don't get any of that done. And so you end up, your company in t ends up being going nowhere because you're trying to do everything yourself. I really feel that I'm being put on blast here and I don't appreciate it. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> I think this is directed towards me personally. Not, I don't like it. <laughs> because, you know, I am, I'm very conservative, right? So I'm like, no, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. And then, you know, Brian would have to say, yeah, Maybe not, you know, <laughs> okay, you know, because it is hard to take your own advice, but you, yeah, he's right. 
absolutely no, right. It's very easy. I, I've, I've been in that situation multiple, multiple <laughs> times. I always have to bring myself out of it because it's such a natural thing. Everybody wants to do it. Even when you've, you've hired someone, you want to pull it on yourself because it's just part of, if you're a conscientious person, you know, you, you want to do a good job and you want to feel like you're, you're doing it, you know, and, and so I, I think a lot of times we always end up, you know, thinking, oh, I'll, I'll just take it on because I can do it. I'm the, I'm the entrepreneur, but it's not necessarily that way. You don't have to think that way, but uh, I, I think catch it's my the thing. parent, <laughs> the parent in us, because a lot of people yeah. don't realize Brian is the parent, the twins, and of course yep. I'm a parent, and mm -hmm. I think it's just a, well, I'll just do it myself, right? <laughs> as parents, we must say that every single day, right? Put on your shoes. You really need to put on your shoes, you know, from the youngest age. And then they come on and the shoes on different feet. They're not tied or whatever. I'll just do it. You know, you throw the kid down, shoving their shoes on. Yeah. <laughs> I think we bring that to work, that same attitude. Right. Yeah. right. So I think it's, it's normal. If you feel that way, it's normal, <laughs> but realize there's another side to it and it's okay. You know, you can hire someone, you can have them do it for you because it just frees you up to, to do the bigger things. And that's right. really where you want to get your thinking from. Yeah. So I guess uh, it's, we're done with this topic, right? Like we're done, right. huh? Yeah, yeah. This is short and quick today. We had a good time talking to everybody. And uh, again, if you want to speak with us um, or if you have something to add to this and you're an entrepreneur and you may even possibly be want to be a guest on the show, we'd love to talk to you because we like to um, hear about your experiences, uh, learn from your mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> just like we learned from ours, but also, you know, to, to share the education and the knowledge with anyone. Um, also, too, don't forget that, you know, we can help you with any of your needs. And it, even if you just want to chat, set up a free consult. You know, I'm happy to talk to any entrepreneur. I want to give back to the community, which I feel is constantly, you know, um, giving back to me. So um, just give us a call. All the information is going to be after um, the video. And uh, awesome. anything you want to add? Oh, that's great. Anyway, okay. thank you. And uh, yeah, we look forward to helping you guys. Okay. See you guys later. Till next Bye. time. We're going to have a couple of uh, podcasts I'll drop next week. And uh, we have some really good guests that are going to be coming on the show. And we're going to be guesting too. So we'll be talking about all that as well. Bye-bye. Awesome. See you later. Bye.